So welcome back everybody, uh, welcome back to Astronomy and Photography, uh, my new YouTube channel. Um, I think in the last video um, it was the unboxing of the Williams Optics Z103. Um, I aim to get into astrophotography but obviously I need to start um, just using the telescope learning my way around the night sky, doing visual astronomy. So I was very fortunate the other day, it was my birthday, and the family all clubbed together to buy me this little birthday present. So without further ado, let's unbox it. And uh, see what's inside. So we've got a couple of things in here. Um, this was bought from Rother Valley Optics in the UK. Um, still working hard, still supplying kit despite the lockdown. Um, so we're all suffering from the coronavirus lockdown here in the UK. Um, compromising our ability to go out and do stuff. But nonetheless, um, they are doing online purchases. So who, here we are. So what have we got here? We've got the Beta or Bader Hyperion uh, eight to twenty-four millimeter zoom eyepiece. Um, Why did I go for this particular eyepiece? Well, I went for this eyepiece because it's a zoom. Um, primarily, I'm aiming to go into astrophotography, but initially, as I say, I need to find my way around the night sky, look at the const various constellations and, and see, learn what the telescope is capable of, and also learn with the mount as well, um, how to drive all that. So I, I need something to be able to look through visually first. So going with the zoom lens, it gives me a range of eyepieces in one. Um, so it should be a great piece of kit. And then bundled with that for a good price from Rother Valley Optics, um, I got the Hyperion Zoom Barlow 2.25 times converter. So uh, I've read and uh, watched various reviews um, all basically saying that this is an extremely good eyepiece. So uh, let's see what is in the box. So the first thing out of the box is a oops, drop thing. Is a Mark IV zoom one and a quarter nose piece adapter for sporting scope adaptations so if you were like a keen bird watcher or whatever you could use it for that i'm not interested in that particularly um, then there's a nice rubber cap and suitable uh, lens cap that goes with it i have seen that there's two different lens caps with this particular setup depending on which um, eye cup you've got on it uh, the the the, the, um, the lens cap is a different size and then a rather nice rubber eye cap um, to go over the thing. And then the um, the lens itself comes in a nice bright Velcro case that you can actually pop onto your belt. Um, so you so you can be walking around at night um, and you're not going to lose it. It's just going to be tucked into your side, so that's really cool. And then here is the eyepiece itself. It's a very chunky eyepiece, I must admit. Um, it's got a decent sort of size and weight to it. 
I appear in Universal Zoom 8 to 24, Phantom Coaching Groups, Beta Planetarium. Very, very nice. You won't be able to hear it, but it does actually make a little click going from 24 to 20 to 16 to 12 to 8. And then on the back end, what we've got is there's a two inch ring, so you can connect it with two telescopes that have got a two inch back end on them, or the standard one and a quarter inch uh, back end. Uh, my telescope is a, is, a two, is a two inch model, but it's also got the one and a quarter inch adapter, so I felt I could slot that straight in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Um, uh, size there. So this is the this is the end that goes into the um, telescope itself. Let's just pop that back on. Again, lovely quality uh, build. It's really good build quality. And here we have the eyepiece end, which is quite a significant sort of eyepiece. There we go, that's it. So it's, uh, it's on a cam, the, uh, the actual eyepiece collar. So, yeah, it'd be quite good. Obviously, being a spectacle wearer um, is a consideration, so... Um, the great thing with this, it's got a decent uh, eye relief um, on the back end, so the eye relief from the actual lens to where the pupil is, is quite reasonable. Okay, so that's quite cool. And then obviously I could swap out this uh, for the eye cup itself, for the little, you know, the little tiny eye, eye cup. So, uh, very impressive, extremely good quality. The Beta Hyperion Universal Zoom 8 to 24 millimeter. Cool. And then in this little tiny box, we've got the Barlow, 2.25 Barlow lens. So it's in Dinky little tiny piece of kit. There you go, look at that. And this goes on to the front of the eyepiece to give me that extra 2.25 times magnification. So, Beta Hyperion Zoom eyepiece, Beta Barlow lens to go with it. I'm an extremely lucky boy, and uh, I've got nothing but gratitude for my family that have all clubbed together to buy me this. Um, and th this again, one of these things that will last me an absolute lifetime. So, uh, very pleased with this. So the 
the eyepiece itself doesn't actually come with any instructions, but they are cleverly laid out on the box. So um, you can even configure it such that it you can um, mount your camera to it as well. I, I won't be doing that because obviously I, I, I've already got the um, field flattener and uh, necessary items to mount my camera directly to, 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 the, to the telescope once I've got familiar with all the deep sky objects and things I want to look at. Many hours of fun to be had by all of this. So, if you want to see some more unboxings, if you would like to subscribe, um, that would be extremely good. Um, over the coming weeks, hopefully I'll get some more pieces of kit together and then we'll be able to put it all together and get outside and do some observing. Um, I can't wait for it. Um, so if you have been watching, thank you very much. Uh, as I say, please do subscribe. And uh, I wish you the best observing conditions for your particular area. Thank you very much. Goodbye. What? <laughs>